And unlike SARS, this outbreak will continue for some time, a year, maybe longer. My fellow Singaporeans, good evening. Five weeks ago, I spoke to you on our COVID-19 situation. Much has happened since then. So it's timely to update you again and share with you what we can expect down the road. We expect more imported cases and therefore new clusters and new waves of infection. This time coming from many countries rather than one or two. We have already imposed some travel restrictions, for example, from China, Iran, South Korea, Italy. We will have to tighten up further, temporarily, though we cannot completely shut ourselves off from the world. We need to plan for a possible spike in COVID-19 cases. With very large numbers, if it happens, we will not be able to hospitalize and isolate every case like we do now. But we now know that the majority of patients, in fact, about 80% of them, only experience mild symptoms. And the ones who are most at risk are the elderly and those with pre-existing conditions like high blood pressure or lung problems. So, with larger numbers, the sensible thing will be to hospitalize only the more serious cases and encourage those with mild symptoms to see their family GP and rest at home, isolate themselves. This way, we focus resources on the seriously ill, speed up our response time and hopefully minimize the number of fatalities. But rest assured, any Singaporean who needs urgent medical care, whether for COVID-19 or other illnesses, will be taken care of. But let me emphasize this. The situation in Singapore remains under control. We are not going to Dorscon Red. What we are doing now is to plan ahead for some of these more stringent measures, try them out, and prepare Singaporeans for when we actually need to implement them. As we consider these next steps, one major concern we have is the impact on our economy. So the government is working on a second package of measures. We will help our companies with their costs and cash flow to keep them afloat through the storm. We will help our workers keep their jobs and retrain during their downtime so that when things return to normal, our workers will be the first out of the gate and immediately productive. I'm grateful that most Singaporeans are responding calmly and responsibly Thank you for your trust and support. What makes Singapore different from other countries is that we have confidence in each other, we feel that we are all in this together, and we don't leave anyone behind. We will remain in this high-risk state nevertheless for some time to come. But if we keep up our guard and take practical precautions to protect ourselves and our families, we will be able to keep our economy going and carry on with our daily lives.